This is the true story of a doctor who turned hospitals into horror labs. His name was Antonio Agus Moniz, the man behind the lobotomy. Inspired by animal experiments where monkeys had their brains cut to make them calm, he believed people could be fixed the same way. Patients were dragged into operating rooms against their will, strapped down, trembling as doctors drilled holes into their skulls. A wire loop was shoved inside, slicing through the brain's frontal lobe, hammered straight above the eyes. Reports claimed it was a miracle. Headlines called Moniz a genius. Families were told their children and parents would be cured. In truth, it was a nightmare. Patients who once laughed and dreamed walked out as hollow shells. Some reverted to the minds of toddlers. Others drooled in wheelchairs, staring at walls, unable to remember their own names. Hospitals smelled of blood and antiseptic as lines of victims shuffled out, calm but destroyed. Moniz was rewarded with a Nobel Prize, his methods spreading like wildfire across America and Europe. Thousands of innocent people, housewives, veterans, even children, had their personalities erased. And the scariest part? For decades, this wasn't called abuse, it was called medicine. 